This is where we're at right here. This is Texas Tech's central heating and cooling plant. That's CHAP 1. Or C-H-A-C-P. But the locals just call it CHAP. One of those locals is John Gallant. He's the utility plant operator of the CHAP facilities. John is shy. He didn't want to wear a microphone, so you won't be hearing much more from him. Which brings us back to Benny. Benny Smallwood. Y'all see a light switch? Benny is not shy. Our camera guys just had a tough time getting him in focus because his job is to tend to the dark hallways of Texas Tech's campus. The CHAP 1, the, the plant, they, they generate, create the steam and the chill water. And my responsibility is once it leaves their wall, it's mine. In simple terms, Benny takes care of something that students regularly discuss, but rarely visit, the tunnel system beneath Texas Tech's campus. But to better understand the purpose of those tunnels, it's best to take you back to where that steam and chilled water is created. Back to the CHAP, which for those of you that are wondering, where in the world is Carmen Sandy? I mean, the heating and cooling plant. It's across the street from the rec center. The heating process is a circular system. The plant generates superheated steam, sends it through campus warming the buildings, then the steam is returned to CHAP to go through the process all over again. A control panel to make sure each boiler, which has a 25 year lifespan, is working properly. Uh, the big line back there in the back is the steam that's going out to the campus. So after the steam goes out into campus and heats all the buildings, it comes back as to condensed water. Right here, they drop all the water to cool, to cool it down and go back through the process all over again. For chill water. The cooling process also functions as a circular system. So this is one of the chillers in the plant. Water comes in at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and it uh, goes through a process, cools it down, and by the end it leaves at about 36 degrees Fahrenheit, goes around campus, cools campus, uh, all the buildings on campus, it comes back at 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the process starts all over again. This here is what we call the Wiggins Tunnel. Benny only showed us one of the newer tunnels underneath campus. Y'all are kind of getting to see more of the Cadillac stuff. Most of the tunnels, he says, are more narrow and not well ventilated. The tunnel system carries all utilities for the campus. Your chill water, your steam for heat, your compressed air, your fiber optics. So this is where the chilled water goes out to campus, Bill Hub right here, and then down here is where the water comes back into the cooling plant and is recooled, sent back out through this pipe. Pipes tie the steam and chilled water into each building. Now, this tie-in is telling us it's at the aquatic center. In the summer, the chilled water is used to air condition the 90 plus buildings on campus. You know, we use the steam for mostly comfort heat, building heat, uh, humidification, buildings that have autoclaves and stuff for experiments and science, you know. Before Benny kicked us out of his tunnel, why don't we go back, like I say, because we asked him the unanswered question. Where are the ghosts? <laughs> what, do you, what have you heard? I've heard the same story. Yeah? What kind of stories? Well, like I say, they, they claim there's ghost stuff down here, but... You ever seen any? No. <laughs> I haven't. Or maybe... Benny was just anxious to get out of there, you know, in case there really are ghosts. Reporting from the now not so secret passages of Texas Tech, I'm Evan Dixon for The Hub at TTU. <laughs>